The worm pit, the basic motivational tool for a cavalry spur ride. It makes you feel more like you're part of the, uh, the cab. It's a, it's a tradition that's been going on for hundreds of years. It actually dates back into the days of the knighthood when um, knights, when they actually had their, own, had their own horses, they had to go through uh, horseman's training. And once they received the horseman's training, they received the spurs. And that's when they moved up in their class structure from uh, serfs to uh, noblemen. Not just anyone can join in the fun. Cavalry troops must earn the privilege of joining the spur ride. It has a series of uh, prerequisites that the soldiers have to go through, anywhere from qualifying with a weapon, certain scores and PT tests, and certain individual tasks that all leaders must be able to accomplish before they can even compete for the ride. Despite the tough requirements, there is no shortage of volunteers. We're trying to attain our spurs. It, uh, you know, it kind of signifies us, signifies our job, signifies uh, the cavalry. So uh, that's all we're doing. Out right, there having a good time. I love this, Ma! Oh, Mom. Oh, Mom. After getting properly motivated, the cavalry soldiers are tested on a variety of military tasks. It's just a good day to be out with the soldiers, and we really see how tough they are. We give them a little bit of a thrashing, but we don't, we're, not, we're not here to hurt them. We're not here to make them fail. A spur holder is looked at as an elite soldier, top notch. He's the one that has went through a lot of motivation and shows true leadership. They may not have horses anymore, the cavalry troopers still have to earn their spurs. Staff Sergeant Dave Coleman, AFKN News, Camp Garyo.